So moving on then, uh, the last skill that we'll look at is the product rule. So suppose I want to know the total number of outcomes. Now I could uh, do the grid again as I did in the previous example, uh, but there's a much simpler way of doing it. Uh, so uh, if I look at the spinner on the left, so that was spinner one, the one on the right is spinner two. Um, so if I want to know the total number of outcomes, I can total up the number of outcomes for spinner one, and that is five. Uh, that's because there's just numbers one, two, three, four, and five. Uh, so that's the same for spinner two, uh, because they're identical spinners. Uh, so uh, in order to get the total number of outcomes, all I have to do is multiply the number of outcomes for spinner one by the number of outcomes for spinner two. Uh, so the total number of outcomes is just five times five, uh, which equals 25. Now if we go back to our grid in the previous question, uh, you can see that that's a five by five grid. Uh, so that's this bit inside here. And if you count five along, and five down, uh, you'll see that that's a five by five grid, which is 25 squares. So the total number of outcomes is 25. So if you feel ready to tackle some probability questions, then why not have a go at our online exam? It's available through our revision platform. And if you take the test, you'll find loads of different questions, a variety of different question types, and you get instant feedback on all of them. So you can keep track of your progress, find out where you need to improve and so on. Uh, so if you're interested, then click the link below. It will take you straight over there.